Hi guys, it's Jim here. Um, for those who don't know or are new to the channel, um, I'm Jim. I'm a full-time eBay reseller. I sell mostly, um, well, a mixture of everything really, but at the moment, as per most resellers, I am doubling in a fair bit of clothing. Now, I've just had or been in collected a delivery. As you can see, there is quite a bit. Um, I don't know if I can get it all in there. Three massive sacks of clothing in here is 55 items um and it's all sort of top end coats and jackets and things like that and it's cost me um 600 pounds um so what's that fives into 60 10 12 pound an item roughly um so am i going to make any money let's have a look let's see what we got let's do this Right, so I've set you guys up on the tripod there, because then it's easier for me to get stuff out and have a look at it. Um, but yeah, 55 items. Let's have a look, see what's in here. I'm hoping for some good stuff. Well, there's a brand that you like to see. Barber, this is a liner um, for a wax jacket, so it's not the whole coat, it's just a liner. Um, it's a size 38, so it's a small to medium. Um, but it's in good condition. Now, I'm not sure on the value of most of this stuff. I've never sold a liner. So what I'm going to do is if I know the sort of values, then I'll say, if not, I'll come back at the end of the video with a review of how much, hopefully, I hope to make. And say I've invested £600, so it's a lot of money. Um, hopefully, it will be okay. Next item is a North Cape um, fleece. I've not heard of North Cape but it does look nice quality, sheepskin lined. Again, so I don't know the sort of value on that. We've got some, well, that's odd, seeing as it's all jackets, we've got some army trousers. These are waterproof. They are genuine army ones, you can tell by the, um, they are wet weather, wood camo, size 75. I don't know what that means, uh, but I have sold quite a bit of military stuff. I bought um, a military, um, job locked and I've done very very well out of that. Bit of a surprise to see those in here though, wasn't expecting those. You can tell by the smell what this is but and I'm wrong. I thought it was a barber but it's a lake line wax jacket. Um, obviously the smell was the wax. It's a large, it's in good condition. Um, I have got an awful lot of barber at the moment um, and wax jackets. So, but I'm not sure on that brand. I've not heard of those myself. Another wax jacket, this time it is a barber. This is a Game Fair 42. Let's just check the condition. It's not too bad, a couple of marks and stuff. The main place that I find barbers wear is on the cuffs and around the um, pockets. And you can see this is obviously a, a very used coat, but Game Fairs are quite, a sought after this is a vintage one they are quite a sought after jacket i've sold a number of game fairs for around the 80 to 100 pound mark I don't think that'll be quite that high because the condition's not there but even so i'd say somewhere in the 50 to 60 pound range i say i have managed to get a contact and get quite a lot of barbers recently so i do know a fair bit about them and <laughs> good job too here's another one this is a more modern it's a classic beaufort um, what size is that? That looks like an extra large. That one may be being kept. Um, but yeah, nice brown wax jacket. This one is in good condition. A Beaufort should be again somewhere in the 79.99 range. Um, so all good there. So it was described as top end clothing. So you would expect um, brands like this. Here we go. This is a riding coat. This is a full length proper one and it's a uh, Toggy. Toggy make horse riding equipment. It's just so you can see this is a full length long riding coat. Again, I'm not sure on the value of that. I've never sold one of them. So I will research that at the end of the video. 
For the wax jacket, this time it's a Regent's View, ladies, size 12. I think this bag is entirely wax jackets. For the barber, a B-Dale, not in the best condition, as you can see. But they, they seal stout. A brand like Barber, you're going to make money on all day long. In fact, that one is very dirty. That one's obviously been used um, by you know, on a farm or by a rider. There is a hole, as I said, by the cuff. That's where they do tend to go, I find. But even so, 35, 40 pounds all day long. What we got next? That's a PG Field coat. I have seen PG Field before um, when I've been around charity shops and in other things. I've never, I don't think I've ever had a PG Field. There is a tiny mark on the back there. Will that come off? Oh, it's come off. Come off with my finger, so that's good. I'll research that, but it's a nice sort of work jacket. Didn't like that. For the wax jacket, again, a Barber Beaufort. Quick check on the condition. Let's see whether she's one's a medium. It's not too bad, actually, that one. Somewhere around £50. So, all in all, I think we're doing okay here. <clears throat> Another large riding jacket type. This one is a Back House, New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand's original wet weather wear, back house. It's one of these sort of shooting jackets, wax shooting jackets. I don't know if you can really see, I'm probably too close, but full, full length coat. Nice. The only problem I find with wax jackets are they are extremely heavy. So when you buy quite a few, it is very, very, very heavy. That one again, another brand I've not heard of, Dry as a Bone. Uh, made in Australia, that's a ladies size 10. Yeah, so lugging this up from the car, you know, they, they are very, very heavy bags. I, I, no wonder it was clutch only. Here we've got a barber waistcoat, um, gilet, could be a liner. In fact, is it? You should be able to tell by the poppers. Now I think it's just a waistcoat uh, gilet. Um, it's the quilted style. I'm just trying to see the size. Uh, size normally on a barber is either on the label or there's normally an inside pocket um, with it on. This one unfortunately hasn't got a size on so I'll have to measure that before I list it but that's very nice. I'm not sure on value of those. I've never sold um, one of those, you know. Looks like a Mac. Like a Macintosh. Oh blimey. Hello. <laughs> it is a Macintosh. I recognise that. Blimey, that's a Burberry's of London, Macintosh. Oh, that feels so, so much quality. That is ridiculous. That just feels absolutely amazing. I'm trying to find the label so I can see what size, etc. Um, I'll have to do some checking on that because it doesn't say on the actual um, label on the back, but blimey, it feels, it feels, I don't know, it just feels quality. I don't know whether it's like moleskin or something, but that's incredible. To do some research on that bad boy, that's for sure. We're doing okay here, guys. What's this? Another Mac by the looks of things. Yes, it is another Mac. This one is Danny Mac. Again, I've not heard of Danny Mac. Uh, looks a nice coat though, has been quite folded, but obviously see my previous video um, on my steamer, I that the creases on them will come out no problem at all. Getting to the end of this third, first bag now, and this is a kid's, oh it's a barber, and it's a kid's quilted jacket. I wonder if that'll fit my daughter, I think it's probably a bit too small. Um, it's a small, that's all it says. I mean, it's definitely kids, unless that has severely shrunk. <laughs> so that's very nice. Last one for this bag, some the Barber Gillet. Um, any sizing on this one? This, they, these are definitely not liners because they've got pockets on the outside. It's quilted. 
blue, bit of leather around the pockets. It's uh, it's an XL. Right, I had to move over a little bit um, because there's so much clothing on that side to get to the next bag. As I said, the problem with wax jackets and coats like they're so heavy. <laughs> but anyway, let's keep going on. We've got Dickies here. Sort of a large quilt um, man's, men's coat. Label's faded, unfortunately. And green, that's very nice. I would definitely wear that one, sort of thing myself. Looks more of a bomber jacket. Polar Tech, Musto. Musto, they're, they're kind of um, boating and yachts, aren't they? This is a Musto Snugs fleece lined coat. Very nice. Another gilet. Barber again. Let's try and see what the size on this one is. That's a 38, so about 38 tends to be a medium, but again, good condition. Nice. And another one, proper shooting waistcoat, extra large. So you've got the pads on the um, shoulders for when you're holding your shotgun or whatever, um, just to protect it. Uh, big pockets at the back. Very nice, that is. Got a fleece here. Let's have a look. Who's this? Oh, it's Barber again. Barber Polar Tech fleece. I've never seen a Barber fleece. So obviously with the brand, you know you're, you're on to a winner. I'm certainly not going to lose money at my, what did I say? Roughly only £12 an item. I mean, that's probably going to be 30 35 if not more. Well, that is very nice. I wish that was my size. That's a Barber motorcycle range. And it's sort of a, well, quite a thick um, cotton kind of cardigan with this fleecy, not fleecy, um, quilted style outer um, front. Um, it's a small, that is absolutely awesome. Absolutely amazing. I am quite shocked at the money I've got this for, to be fair. This is proving very nice indeed. What have we got here? Who got brands? <laughs> You've guessed, it's Barber again. Barber International quilted coat. Jeez. Um, I can't see a size on this, but it's the motorcycle range again. Um, Barber International. This is uh, an international jacket. This jacket is based on the original Barber International jacket, 2011. It was the 75th anniversary, and this is one of those. That is absolutely lovely. There's a bit of wear on the back there, I don't know if you can see that. But that doesn't really detract from it too much because it's just awesome. Oh, another wax jacket, so another hugely heavy coat. This is a mascot marksman, size large, large. and that's, that's padded. That's that's insulated, but that's got a liner in it. Um, on, no, it's not. It is actually an insulated coat. That is lovely. Very nice jacket. Barber again. Fleece lined, quilted. That looks to be a ladies' coat to me. This one. It's a small. That's all it says. I'll have to check on the barbers. Either have a model on them or they have a label somewhere with a reference on that you can find the actual model of coat. Um, but that, that is nice. There is again a mark on that one at the back, just there. But that is a lovely coat. Amazing, looks like we've actually bought something decent, finally. Another barber, red, quilted. Not too bad condition, that one's a medium. Oh no, beg your pardon, I didn't see the front, look. It's quite marked and stained, but even so, it's barber. You're gonna, someone like a horsey person or someone on a farm might want that. I'm still gonna get 25, 30 quid for it. Because you're gonna keep you warm and it's quality. Another coat here, oh, again. 
This is a barber waterproof jacket. So it's not a wax jacket. This one is just a work coat. Barber, large, waterproof. Struggling to hold these up, my arms aching. The weight of all this stuff. Absolutely superb. We got here again. It's getting a bit uh, familiar, this brand now. It's Barber again, again. There is marks on this, but that should come out with a wash. It's kind of a lightweight jacket. Um, what's it say here? Weather comfort, medium. Lovely. And the wax barber again. Blue, this one. This one's a B-Dale. I have sold a few B-Dales for which are about $79.99. Looks in reasonable condition. There are some marks. There is some sort of dirty marks on it, as you would expect. Um, maybe 50. We've still got a bag and half to go, and I, I don't I haven't been keeping it out or anything. I will try and toss it, toss it up off camera at the end. This one is Chevalier. Sounds horsey to me, I don't know why. Cheval is, um, isn't it French for um, horse? Nice coat though. Up now another barber again this one's like a cottony that is lovely that is. so let's see what this one is got a built-in hood in the neck there this is a barber's beacon brand south shields no size on it but looks about a large or medium that's a lovely coat again there's wear on it though I think that's why I've got them for a good price. Um, but they, they still sell. They still sell. Not going to set the world alight on them. I mean, some barbers can be worth hundreds. Um, in good condition, some of these might be. Oh, wow. Now, that's special. That's like it's an overcoat. With a belt. 42. Oh, blimey, that is... Look at that, like a... What would you call that? A reefer kind of pea coat, but it's longer, so it's um, it's probably knee length. That is absolutely amazing. Quality again, the feel of the um, material just oozes quality. Just a couple more left in this bag. What we got? Barber International again. Bit of a brown. Off white khaki, off white, off brown khaki motorcycle range again. I'll have to do some research on that one, but that again looks about a 40 pound coat. This is a Beaufort in brown and looks about a large. That's a winner, that one. That one's probably 80 quid because that looks really good. Couple of marks on it, but nothing too bad. Couple of little holes actually there on the cuff, like I said. Seems to be where they do wear. Um, yeah. Again, this one's a border. That one is a bit larger. Doesn't got the size on it, it'll be on the label inside. Check the cuffs. Very good. I don't know what that one, $69.99, maybe, maybe a bit more. Bit of bit of wear on the lower seam just there. Amazing. Right, one bag left. Right, so last bag now. So 55 items, just under £600 I paid for this. Incredible. This one's country wear. And it's kind of a tweedy, um, quilted inside coat, large. Good condition. Again, I have no idea on value of that one. I'm getting quite a mountain of clothing now at the side of me. Look, I don't know. Look at this. Incredible amount of stuff. So what, I mean, a barber coat, as I said, the wax jackets, they are quite heavy. They probably weigh over two kilos. So what's that going to be with Hermes? About six pounds to post per item. So on average, probably 50 at least per jacket. So 45, they owe me, what did I say? 
12 pounds. So uh, we've made some money here. This is a Thorndale original British jacket. Again, wax jacket, a couple of marks. I don't know on that one either. So we have to do some more research on that one. Barber border, quite, um, quite worn. This is in blue. The greens do seem to sell slightly better. Um, not bad condition. Looks about a 44, 42, 44. Um, so again, I'm looking at 69.99 probably on that jacket. Oh, my arms are aching, I tell you, lifting all this up. Now that's a vintage. See, that's a border as well. But you can tell by the label that that's more like a, an 80s or 90s barber. And this is a 42. Um, good condition, couple of marks. It's got their price tag. They were selling this one for £60. I'm not going to tell you the name of the company because um, I want to buy all their stuff myself. <laughs> but yeah, that is a more vintage one. Apparently they are very collectible in places like Japan um, and um, countries like that. If you find some rarer barbers, then they, that's where they tend to sell. I know some of the stuff that I've been selling recently has gone there. Another border, again a vintage one, that's a 44. Um, good condition that one. So again, we're looking at a 50, 60 pound coat all day long. Quilted this one. Oh, that is absolutely lovely. Actually, that is waxy. Um, it's a quilted, but it does, it smells a little bit waxy. That may well be, because it's obviously been in a bag with them. Um, but this is a Polar Quilt Jurathon jacket, extra small, fleece lined. I can't, on a quick look, I mean, this is the first look I've got at all the stuff. Can't see any serious marks or anything. That is a lovely coat. Another way of sending more later barbers, they have barber written on the pocket. The vintage ones don't. So if you've got barber written on the jacket, there's still value in it, don't get me wrong. But it's not gonna be a vintage one. So that is definitely an older barber. That's a bow for. No writing on the pocket. That's blue. What size is this one? A 44. Again, looking at easily 50 quid. Easily. This is outrageous. Now this one is, it has caught my eye. I might tell you why in a second. Fingers crossed. Ah. Barber again, uh, it's a similar to that one. Fleecy lined quilted jacket. It looked very big, so I was hopeful it would fit me. Alas, it is only large. So yes, it won't fit me. But the Quilted Barbers, very nice jackets. They are awesome. Again, somewhere around 50. Easy. Another liner. That's a pile liner. Um, lovely. Doesn't say what size, but I can measure the armpits on that one. I don't know on liners, I've never actually sold them. I know they do sell for good money though. Um, which is good, because here's another one. This one is a 36. Kind of a sheep skinny wool-like liner. Obviously to keep them warm in the winter. We've got a hair wax jacket. Oh no, these are trousers. Bellstaff Trial Master. So Bellstaff are motorcycle trousers. These are wax ones. Um, no idea on those, but they look good. Bellstaff's obviously a very, very good brand. Um, I have no idea what to price that, but I would say research is the key. Actually, get anything on eBay, you need to research what you're selling. You don't want to sell stuff too cheap. And also, you don't want to sell it too high because obviously it won't sell. So the key is research as ever. There's some barber wax trousers. What's it saying they are? Medium, doesn't say a name, just has the barber um, brand name, but they are wax trousers. 
Now another thing with wax jackets, the wax can deteriorate on them. Now you can re-wax a jacket, um, you can buy specific barber stuff, their own brand, or you can buy cheaper brands, I would personally buy cheaper brands, and it is literally painting it almost. Um, you get the jacket laid down on a nice flat table, you get the wax and you literally paint it on. It is, I may actually see if I can, I've never done it myself, I must say, but I have got a number of jackets in the past that needed rewaxing. Now, what I did was reduce the price on them and say it could do with a rewax. Um, so I'd knock 15, 20 pounds off the value. So if it was gonna, if it was gonna be normally 79.99, obviously I'd drop it down to 59.99 and say it needs rewaxing. It is quite a simple task. I do need to do a bit more checking on it myself because if it is as easy as I've seen on YouTube videos, etc., then I need to be doing it myself and then I can sell them as freshly waxed and probably up my prices a bit. Another barber quilt in blue, nice blue lining, it's a medium. Lovely coats, absolutely beautiful coats. Another one, another quilt, this time in sort of a khaki colour. I think that looks about a large. Let's have a quick look. Yes, it's a large. Very nice jackets. Getting to the end now, guys. Anybody who's still watching, I do appreciate it. Medium, that one in black. A bit of wear on the back. But as I've said, they still have very good value, very good value, because of the brand and because of what they are. Here we've got a barber, medium, doesn't say the brand, doesn't that, I say brand, I mean the make, the model if you like, but that's a barber waistcoat, wax gelo. Um it's a medium, that's nice actually. I say I haven't seen other than before the waxed ones I've got. As I say, in here we've got the um, sort of uh, quilted ones, but not that. In fact, here's one here. There you go, that is a far more modern one. You can tell by the uh, label. That's probably a medium in green. Lovely. We are nearly there now, I promise. I can't believe the mountain of clothing I now have here. Two more items. First, we've got this Polo Jeans Company, Ralph Lauren. Woo, we didn't think about that one. Ye uh, a yellow again, puffer type. It's a medium, that is absolutely <laughs> awesome. That is really nice. Crazy. And then lastly, but by no means leastly, our last item, again a barber, it's a fleece gilet this time, in green, good condition. Looks pretty big. Let's try this one on. I can barely lift my arms because of all this wax. Oh, I'm absolutely pooped. Oh well, there we go, guys. So the last one is this barber gilet fleece. I don't know on the value again, I haven't had these before. But I'm going to go and check now, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to actually see. I mean, I, I, I come on, I think we can pretty much guess. We've done pretty well here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to do some research, come back and let you know. But I am very, very, very happy with this huge job lot. Right, OK. I am now thoroughly pooped after lifting all these jackets. I've done, I haven't done in-depth research yet, but I've done some checking on eBay. Gilets tend to sell somewhere in the region of 40 to 60 pounds. That's the quilted, the wax ones. The liners around 25 to 30. Um, this Ralph Lauren one could be somewhere in the region of 70 to 80. As I say to the wax jackets, they could be somewhere between 50 to 70 each. The, um, the Burberry uh, Mac, I haven't actually checked on that one. And the other brands I haven't looked at yet. But... I've got it in my mind that if I say roughly the sale price of each item is going to be in the range of £50. That's averaging out everything. As I said, gilets, gilets tend to go 40 to 60 so I'll obviously price them at 60 to start with. May have to reduce them to 50 may only get 40 for them. 
but some of the coats and there was a good mixture of wax jackets etc are going to be 80 to 100 each um some of them even more i expect that that burberry's mac may even be more than that the sheer load here behind me in the ralph loren should be somewhere in the 70 pound mark so i'm going to give them an average of 50 pounds per item obviously there's going to be fees etc to take off that so what 50 pound 15 percent seems to be my rough um fees according to managed payments on my ebay so that's seven pound fifty take off 12 so what we are 50 less 750 42 50 12 pound is what they owe me each that's 30 but a post them that's a fiver so 25 pound profit per item that's 25 times 55 now i'm gonna have to do that maths and everybody knows i cannot do maths but 10 times um 25 is 250 times that by five is 1250 plus a little bit more so profit after fees after posting after everything is somewhere in the region of 1300 pounds amazing now i'm not expecting it's going to be that much i would would think i'm going to have to reduce some prices obviously i send offers when i do when i do send offers i tend to send between 15 20 percent off an item so let's say a thousand profit that's profit i spent 1600 600 on them just under so you, i'm not going to knock that this is one of the best bulk buys i've ever bought don't get me wrong, it set me back a fair amount of money, but the profits on this one, can't knock that, can we? I hope someone's found it interesting, me just going through 55 coats. But uh, in the end of the day, the rewards are there for everyone to see. You've just got to get out there, find the deals, get the contacts in and make the money. Um, should be getting back to normal in a month or so, so hopefully we can get out there, get the car boots going, get the charity shops, etc. coming in. For now, I'll be surviving on buying bulk clothing and selling that. Um, but yeah, hope everyone's okay. Hope they want everyone's healthy. Let's do this, guys. We can get there. Um, keep on trucking, as I say. And good luck. See you later, guys. Please like, subscribe, etc., etc., and hit the bell for notifications when new videos are coming from us. I hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly have, even though I am. My arms feel like lead lifting all those hugely heavy coats. But that's just me being a weekly. See you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Ta-da.